He's a boxer, rapper, mixed martial artist, film star, security guy, and a legend in the fight game. You might even want to say he comes on like a cannon. The story only on Must Love MMA next. fans guess who i've got with me tonight shannon the cannon rich a legend in the fight game so shannon we've got to get right to it you've got a big fight coming up at bare knuckle fc4 in february let's talk a little bit about your opponent and what you're doing to prepare for the fight yeah i'm fighting february 2nd in cancun mexico for bare knuckle 4 uh bare knuckle fighting championships uh dave feldman's putting it on look i'm fighting omar molina he's from mexico he's a boxer kickboxer mma fighter um, predominantly a boxer. That's pretty much what I know about him. But, uh, you know, me, <laughs> hey, I'm the ultimate athlete. This is what I do. I, uh, I will come out there and swing fences and hopefully, uh, one of us is going to get knocked out and, uh, hopefully it's my opponent. Uh, I'm going to give the fans what they look for. Uh, the fans are spending their hard earned money to yeah. watch us fight. And that's what we're going to give them. We're going to give them a fight. Better knuckle, fist to fist, uh, straight up, uh, fist fight. I haven't been able to find a lot of information on your opponent. Talk to me a little bit about how you think you match up with him stylistically. Um, we're both big guys, you know. We're yeah. both over 200 pounds fighting for heavyweight. Um, you know, from what I know about him, he's been boxing his whole life. You know, he's going to come box me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out and fight him. Uh, this is a fist fight. It's, uh, it's not a boxing match. Don't get it, don't get it confused. Bare knuckle boxing is boxing, yet it is a fist fight, and it's precision boxing. You have to know exactly how to hit an opponent, where to hit your opponent. I mean, if you go out and swing for the fences and you, and you hit the guy on the head, you bust your hand. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to really worry about what my opponent does. I'm going to do what I do, and uh, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit him hard, fast, and continuously, and uh, hopefully have a good night. I have a bare-knuckle boxing record of 25-3 and three with 25 KOs. Is that accurate? Yep. That's accurate. Yep, been fighting for a long time. Wow. What attracts you to bare knuckles so much? I feel like it fits with your energy and your profile, but what um, what attracts you as a fighter? Well, bare, bare knuckles to me is, is precision boxing. I mean, you have to be a precision boxer to do it. And it, and when I started fighting back in 1991, there were no rules, no rounds, no weight classes, and no gloves. So bare knuckle is what I do. It is my... It, it, more or less, it's my homecoming. It's what I do. I mean, they're stepping into my world. Congratulations on bringing home the gold at the Noji and BJJ GI Round Tourney. Let's talk about that. Yeah, two, uh, last couple weeks ago, uh, actually a week and a half ago, I fought. Um, it's a grappling match. So I, I went up against some of the best black belts in, uh, in, the, in the Southwest, guys from all over, and uh, ended up winning the gold medal. And, uh, you know, jiu-jitsu is my second love. That's what I do. I'm a... Uh, I own a Brazilian jiu-jitsu school right. called Canon BJ, Canon BJJ, CanonBJJ.net. If you guys want to check me out on the website. Um, you know, gi, no gi, it doesn't matter. It's kickboxing, boxing, um, <laughs> jiu-jitsu, MMA. It doesn't matter. This is what I do. You know, you've trained with so many people looking at your bio. Lion's Den, Extreme Couture. Which one stands out to you most as being the, one of the most memorable experiences training-wise? Because you've trained with so um, many great people. Yeah, I guess, uh, you know, I have to say my mentor would be Carlos Machado. I mean, Carlos is the one who taught me how to uh, do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Um, you know, he, he's a, the founding father, or you know, his family is uh, the inventors of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. His, um, his uncle was Carlos Machado and uh, Cesar Gracie, or uh, Helio Gracie. They're the founders of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And he's just, they're, they're a family. Machado's in the great of cousins. They all trained in Brazil. They all learned Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Carlos came out, started training in Dallas, Texas. I was out in Dallas, Texas. I trained with Carlos. Um, actually got on Walker, Texas Ranger, because they brought out Chuck Norris. And Chuck Norris was uh, trained by uh, Carlos Machado. So it's a, it's a pretty cool thing. But, yeah, Carlos is probably uh, one of my most memorable training uh, places. What's a typical training day like for you? Uh, you know, I do strength and conditioning in the morning, and then uh, – I take a little break in boxing and kickboxing, and then uh, uh, in the nighttime we do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So it's uh, you know four or five hours a day of, of uh, getting in there and getting after it. When do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> every night, every night. You had a very bad experience at Diamond World Fights, and I think that you should share that. Not just me, but, right. but everybody involved in the, in the whole organization. People that work for them, people that came out to the fight. Um, actually, the guys that brought up the ring, no one mm -hmm. got paid. Um, we got a, actually all our checks bounced. 
Wow. Uh, yeah, I have, uh, yeah, yeah, I have legal action going on right now. My attorney suing uh, the guy who actually signed the checks, and uh, you know we'll go from there. We got to take him to court. But yeah, in this day and age, uh, promoters do not pay fighters mm -hmm. and have checks balanced. Uh, you know, that's a bad deal. What do you like to do in your spare time? I heard you are pretty good with a golf club. Yeah, I mean that's what I like to do. I like to play golf. You know, if I if I'm out there, two I like to play four times a week, but you know usually two or three times a week. Um, Hopefully that's my next uh, adventure is uh, trying to get into a, a senior tour or something like that. Wow. Now, you have a varied background when it comes to the military. You were in it. You're also involved in helping some of the military come up the ranks. Talk to me a little bit about exactly how you're doing that and how you're passing this information on to sort of the next generation of Army and military fighters. Well, you know, I, I spent time in the military. I was in the Army, uh, 4th Infantry Division, 4th ID. And then um, I got out of the Army, and then I started doing diplomatic security, private security. Um, I, I worked for a, a private security company in Iraq. I was a bodyguard for John Negroponte, who was the United States ambassador in Iraq. And then I also did uh, private security for Colin Powell, Condoleezza Rice, Donald Rumsfeld, other uh, dignitaries um, in Iraq. Um, yeah, and I just been okay. doing security for percent. I go around and I do uh, defensive tactics, hand-to-hand -hand combat, weapons retention, weapon takeaway, close court combat. So I, I, I train, um, you know, I, I go out to Fort Benning, train with the Army Rangers, I train, train with Marine Sharing, uh, the Yuma Proving Grounds. Uh, I go around with the uh, group called America 300 Tour, and we go around to all the uh, military bases, and we do a lot of stuff with the, uh, the soldiers there. Shannon, like there's nothing left you haven't done. What is left on your bucket list? <laughs> Well, the next thing left on the bucket list is the Bobby Gunn Shannon Rich fight. We do that fight and then uh, fade off into the sunset. Before we go today, Shannon, is there anything else you want to add? Give a shout out to your friends, family, your sponsors, anything else that you can share with our viewers before your fight? You know, well, I, I got a lot of the uh, our sponsors, Eight Strong. They're uh, Eight Strong. They're doing great, uh, great things. Um, you know, a big shout out to Dave Feldman for putting together yeah. knuckle boxing. And bringing bare knuckle boxing into the United States, I mean, it's, it's been a forgotten sport. I mean, it, it used to be the sport back when uh, John L. Sullivan was fighting. And, uh, you know, that was the thing. And then the glove sports came in, glove boxing. But Dave Feldman brought it back. I mean, this is a, it's an old sport, but now it's a new sport. And it's on pay-per-view, and these people can watch it. Bareknuckle.tv. Get your tickets if you're not coming to Cancun, but download the bareknuckle.tv. Shannon, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. I wish you good luck on your fight. And boxing, MMA fans, fight fans in general, you can watch this fight on pay-per-view for $24.95 by going to bareknuckle.tv. The fight is Saturday, February 2nd, 2019. Shannon, I wish you good luck, and thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. All right, thank you for your time.